how can we know each other across the world? We are half imagined and half real. Only when we accept translucency can we reach towards what Gleesaw calls a creolized body, a community made up of difference and actively engaging with each other, creating a new community, new communities. I will never know what it is like to be you, what it is like to be a bat, or a stone, or you. And you will try and analyze me. Not first for where I come from or how I choose to be or the dust and the heat and the smog that I have grown up with, but the light, how it forms these shadows, these lines, what these shadows can tell you about the self I choose not to show my expressions of contentment and discontentment, the depth of composition, the metaphors I use so as not to say the thing I can't say. Translucency is not the relief of the end of the journey, but the cool you find in the middle, that energizing rest when the mind finds home in the body more easily. Meet me somewhere in the middle of this infinity. I won't turn away. I am the accumulation of all the energies that have come before me and those that will follow. I am tired, yes, and I do not need to explain myself to you. I do have the right to opacity. I do not need to be transparent to you. But what is opacity or transparency if not for shifting weights of translucency? The number of layers, the thickness of the atmosphere between the color and materiality and power to resist or receive the light. By letting light in, we make room for darkness when the stars come out. We pass energies between each other so we can meet in that halfway. We begin to understand. Not understand each other, but understand what it means to form a relation between two, to become a third. There, we offer up our translucent selves. We are islands when we are multicultural, multi-ethnic, multiracial, differently abled, indifferently labeled communities living beside each other with no language in between. Translucency is an offering. It is not the mediocre medium of diplomacy, but it is the boat spark next to each other, where we can coincide, connect, but not need to understand or become the other. It's like looking into each other's eyes, a knowing at a distance, a connection that requires no touch. To find this moment of shifting translucency, we must share the work. No, I say it again, we are not answerable to you. No, we will not explain the history of slavery, indentured labor, classism, racism, casteism to you. We are still working on learning it ourselves, on trying to figure out why we have suffered this much till now. Like dragonflies, we must find a way to make our wings translucent to avoid the harm of predators. Maybe we can offer some poems or theories, and when I am exhausted, you will take over for me, and from you, the next person, and so on. 
This way we begin to subvert the architectures of transparency, patriarchy, whiteness, Western developed countries models of morality, subvert the guise of rationality, subvert a capitalist infrastructure that preferences the individual over interdependence. And we begin to question where prejudice comes from, reach outwards towards materiality and inwards towards the bell in ourselves that conditions us. Even the idea of, the, of freedom of speech seems to privilege a transparency that doesn't really exist and is still mediated by the algorithm, and for many around the world is neither an aspiration nor actually desirable. It is like the woman's veil in the Arab world, providing a layer of discretion and coding. It's the jali in Mughal architecture. Translucency is the commons of otherness. If we perceive things as interrelated and not distinct, can love seep through toxicity? Can justice seep through injustice? An archipelago is a collection of islands. Can we be self and find a relation to the other at the same time? Can we be connected by translucent waters, our shorelines constantly adapting to the weather, gelatinous with the translucency of the sea creatures beneath? Can we absorb and resist, be rooted and still floating, hybrid, forming new cultures, forming many possible identities? Can we have polylogues while still keeping our inner voice alive? Can we operate with intuition in the laboratory of our lives? And when bombs make the air hazy, and when the heat makes the atmosphere sticky, and when floods cause land to become liquid, can we call upon the same materiality of translucency to help us out of disaster? Can we be more like poems? Translucency is not an impossible aspiration towards a fixed utopia. It is inherently not extreme. It proposes deep being while allowing different temporalities to inform, affect, and change the present moment. While it is about light, it is not about vision only. It asks to listen to non-human creatures, how they call and respond, to feel the viscosity of brine, how oily water can be, how soft your skin feels in that salt water, and how scaly it feels when the water has evaporated and the world has become just a little too saline. We are pieces of mineral. Rocks to sea, to moon, to dust, and light as light. We are a cosmic comic. We are visible and invisible, dense and sheer. Frost, liquid, glinting, our fires speckled, our secrets close. We are illegible and lucid. We vanish in water. The bodies of those who are bodiless are ours. We are the longing that crosses the eternal desert to be with our beloved. We carry a soft shell from when this scorched land was sea to guide the way. <laughs>